How you doing everybody? My name is Sean Hickey. I'm with Everglades Boats. I'm one of their regional sales managers as well as one of their captains. And I'm here today at the Fort Myers Boat Show with the Boathouse Group. And I wanted to take a second to take you through our new model, the 235cc. It's an exciting model for us. We put a lot into a little boat. And why don't you come on board and we'll show you a few things. Actually, before I go on board, let me show you right here. This boat has a standard dive door on the port side. Uh, I don't think you're going to find many other 23-footers that even offer that, but we actually put it on there standard as well. It's great for the side tie, for diving, uh, just swimming around the boat, getting on and off. I think you'll really appreciate having it. Jump up. All right, so what we've done on here, we've, um, we've been taken the back of our boat, we've changed the seating from our old 235, which was a very popular model for us, and what we've done is we now have, which is really sharp, seating across the entire transom of the boat. And if you notice, as you bring that seating down, the, the backrest comes up, so it's good, it's real high, comfortable, cup holders where you need them. The, uh, what we did in the back of this boat is we actually kept the swim platforms very big. You see on a lot of the smaller boats, you have these little short swim platforms and if you're a diver, you'll understand being able to sit on the back of the boat with a tank is, is very difficult on those smaller ones. With these you can, you can actually, it'll actually aid you in your diving. Um, this boat we here, we, this new optional sea deck that we put in, we're, we're doing a lot of that lately, seems to be a pretty popular popular uh, item for us. Uh, those, of, uh, those of you who are fishermen, we can do two live wells in the back. You can either do one. Uh, standard or add a second one on the port side so that you'd be able to uh, you know, do fish with your different baits and all. One of the things that's unique about the 235 is this really innovative uh, helm seat. Okay, it's actually in the reverse section uh, or, or reverse facing right now. You see it has actually mezzanine seating on a 23 footer. I don't know if you see that that often. You have a nice leg rest here. It pops down. You got leaning, leaning post or you can just You'll prop it up, very comfortable. We're out day fishing, face and aft. But the cool thing about this is when you, you tuck it all away here, right? It actually spins around. So you can actually have a regular seat at the helm if you want. Or if you notice as I spin it around again, there's your leaning post. So if you're driving, the seat's facing aft, you actually have a cushion to lean against to run the boat. The helm area here, we did some cool things. Uh, we used to have an acrylic windshield. Now we have a tempered safety glass windshield with hydraulic pistons. Uh, right now, we, we do not have power to the boat, but if I, if I turn it on, you can see that the windshield actually opens and closes all the way. And it is glass, and it, and it does have a windshield wiper with a washer. Uh, we've also done a, a real nice uh, rig here with 12-inch screens with the Garmin setup with dual screens. Uh, she's, she's optional with the with the um, joystick from Yamaha. It has EX steering standard. Um, excuse me, we also use this, this really cool material called Phoenix Board on our helms. Phoenix Board is, is an interesting product because it doesn't fingerprint, it doesn't smudge, and it's self-healing. So if I scratch it, it actually will take the scratch out on its own. So we've been using that on a lot of our boats now and, and, and we've, uh, we've been real happy with it. Uh, as we move forward, we redesigned our seating up here, so now we have a, a U-shaped seating with backrests. You have a filler cushion here, this removes, you can take this out if you want, or underneath that, it becomes a casting deck if you like. And we've got a nice cooler here, built under the seat, here. So there, if you want to you know, put all your drinks and such there, up, up in the front. Uh, there's a nice little fish box down in the deck here, that's insulated. And another cool feature, is that this has a built-in windlass. It's an option on here, but it actually comes through the bow, and you can see it's all flush right here, but if you open up in the, in the bow area, there's a, 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 an actual windlass in here. So for a 23-footer, I think that's pretty sharp. We do rod holder cup holders. You can do a nice uh, Mediterranean bow shade that'll utilize those cup holders. We've been doing a lot of those lately. That's an option on here. And um, we also did something very unique. On our new 39-footer, we designed a top that has a basically a channel up here with a ridge so it, it funnels the water aft if you've ever been on a boat uh, in the rain or if there's there's dew or any kind of water up top it, it'll flow back and if you're in the middle of the cockpit it drops on your head so we actually channel it so it goes off the sides but the, the other benefit of that is you have a handrail so all the way around this hard top there's a nice handrail to grab to go up and down 
uh, when you're getting up and down off the, the gunnels or getting on and off the boat. So instead of having the, the, the aluminum rails and all that, we actually incorporate it right into the molding and it's pretty, pretty sharp. This one has a, uh, a porta potty with a pump out, okay? And we've done gunnel storage all in one here on both sides. We've got recessed rod lockers on the other side. And here, real nice tackle drawers. Okay, instead of having just the regular plastic um, boxes, we've actually got some nice starboard uh, box, uh, drawers with stainless steel sliders. Real sharp, just up to the Everglades polish. And the, uh, you also have a, a fatigue pad, which is actually standard here, where the sea deck itself is, is an option. You'll always get that when you get the boat. Life jacket storage up top. This boat has outriggers on it um, and radar. Deck this one out. This was our first boat, so we wanted to put all the options on it. Because we do every boat that we build, we put it through extensive testing. This boat will have at least a month or, or, or maybe two months of testing on it before we actually uh, sell it out to the public. But um, so, uh, I did miss the stereos. We do JL, JL uh, speakers, the Fusion stereos, standard on all the boats with subwoofers. So you'll get a premium sound system uh, regardless of uh, how you rig the boat. It comes standard. As with all of the center consoles that Everglades builds, we, we build a really sharp hard top uh, that's built with uh, with in, in our metal fabrication shop in-house. We don't we don't farm it out, we do all the work ourselves. For a 23 footer, we've got a really substantial top here. And one of the things I love about it is, and it's unique to the industry, is that we have ski toe and wakeboard and uh, tubing um, uh, hook up here right up on the on the on the actual back side or the aft side of the hard top. So if you, you do the water sports stuff, you can do it right from here. It's a lot safer, gets the lines out above the above the engine, and you wakeboarders know you need that height to get the, to, to do what you want to do with those as well. That's pretty much it. There's a lot to talk about on this boat, but and also the, the most important thing is it has the Everglades ride. The unsinkable ram cap construction. This boat will ride, outride anything in its class, in its size, and probably the, bo the boats that are bigger than it as well. It's a very comfortable dry ride. You, you ought to come down and pick a bad day and go for a ride and experience what Everglades has to offer.